Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you don't know me, my name is Shayla and I am currently a sophomore at Wellesley College in Wellesley, Massachusetts and a lot of people have been asking me to do an admissions video for the longest time and I'm finally doing it. This is a huge focus on those college specific questions and how you should approach them. I'm specifically targeting this approach just because it's the one thing that you could actually change about your college application because the whole application process is near the end and you're probably last minute trying to apply to some schools that you might be thinking about or you're procrastinating like applying because you weren't sure if you're gonna get in. You could also use this for any other occasion these tips work for honestly everything, even for applications like internships or jobs, some of these may also apply. So if any of these are like you, please stick around because they're actually pretty useful. My first tip is that if there's anything that's optional, it's not optional, you should definitely do it. So I'm talking about those optional essays or the optional resume. If it's optional, it's just another opportunity for you to present yourself to the school. The personal essay is what, like 600 words or something like that? It's a very limited chance for these colleges to see you. So if they have this optional opportunity for them to see even more of you, you should absolutely take it. Number two is probably going to be a little controversial, but I want you guys to actually recycle the school's vocabulary. In order to do this, you have to do a little bit of research, but I want you to kind of look at how the school presents itself. Make a list of all of the different words that they frequently use. The admissions office wants to see if you're a good fit for the school's culture. If you identify with some of the things that the school also identifies as, they're already gonna see you as like a good fit for that school. For example, if a school uses a lot of talk about being interdisciplinary or um, being world focused or holistic approach, I want you to make a list of all of those words that are trigger words that are like, ah, yes, this is specifically for this school. And I want you to use those in whichever way possible. I'm not saying that you should plagiarize <laughs> what the school says, but if you do find a word that identifies with you, you might as well use it. Something that I like telling people who come to me for help is to look at the school's mission statement. A lot of people don't actually go to the mission statement of a school, which is kind of silly because that's exactly what the school represents and what their mission is for their students and just pick out a few words that really resonate with you. I also do this for resumes, for internships and jobs. I would also like pick out a few words that apply to me. It's definitely true about what I've done, but I'm using it in their words. So my third tip is specifically for a why us college essay. For a why us college essay, it's really hard because it's usually a very small word count and there's like so much that you could talk about. And I remember when I was doing it, I always thought that I needed to do something that was super general, like, oh, I want to go to Wellesley College because I will be surrounded by really powerful women. <laughs> and while it did like get me in, I realize now that what they're looking for is how are you going to be in this community? Like, what are you bringing to the table to the community? And they want to see if they can see you within the school. With this in mind, I want you to go beyond the basic demographics. I want you to really research into the school and find programs that actually interest you. If there is a course or if there is a major that's really exciting for you, then you should definitely look more into it and talk about that in your Why Us essay. If a school has a really interesting program that fits with what you want to do, research it. Admissions offices want to know that you're actually invested in the school, not because it's like top three liberal arts school or not because of it's Harvard, you know, like they want to see passion and they want to see you within the school and what you could bring to the school. My fourth 
quick tip is to have three different drafts for your essays. The first draft is the brain dump, the second draft is the proofreader, and the third draft is the polished. The first draft is definitely just putting your thoughts into paper or computer or whatever. It's literally a brain dump. It's like what first comes to you. The second draft is then a proofread version of your first draft. In your first draft, you usually use a lot of passive voice, which is all right when you're like talking to someone, but when it's on paper, it should sound a little bit more like an essay and it should be a little bit more polished. You also want your second draft to have a little bit more clarity because when you're talking to someone or when you're brain dumping, it's just different thoughts put into one. So you wanna make sure that there's like a clear transition from thought to thought. And then the third draft is obviously the polished. It's the final draft that you send out to colleges. So somewhere between the second and third draft, it's actually pretty smart to ask different people what they think about it and, you know, polish it, buff it out, make it sound eloquent, but still like yourself. And my fifth and final tip is to be specific in the activity section. I actually wasn't going to include this one, but my cousin is actually doing their own college application process right now. I noticed that a lot of people actually don't know how to talk about the activities that they do, which is really interesting. Wellesley College has a really amazing resource, which I'm going to link it below, but it's basically resume guidelines and how you should do your, like your bulleted points and everything like that. I know that the activity section has, I think a word count of 70 or 100 words, something like that. Um, so it's not a lot of space that you could talk about your activities, but instead of bulleted points, you could definitely still do the same thing that you would in a resume. Wellesley College has a perfect way of really listing out your bulleted points using a formula. So you first want to use an action word, then you want to actually describe what you did, and then in the third section of your bulleted list or description. It's a detailed description of what you did, what the outcomes were, etc. Of course, you're not going to actually bullet point your activity section, but again, this is another opportunity for you to showcase what you've done. These are actual things that you're interested in and that you're passionate about because you took the time out of your normal school day to, you know, do them. So it's really important that you're accurately reflecting what you did and be as specific as possible. My little extra tip is to just be yourself. I think I've been so repetitive in this video because schools really do just want to see if you're a good fit for their school. You know, like admissions offices are smart. They, of course, want a, a certain person in their school, whether it's a really smart person, an athletic person, but they also want to see if you are adding anything to the community and if you even belong to the community, if you are an accurate representation of what their school's culture is. I guess like the moral of today's video is that you need to be yourself so that you can get into the schools that you'll actually enjoy. I think that's one of the biggest reasons why it was such a pro for me to apply to Wellesley so late in the game, literally the day it was due, but it's because I did these college essays reflecting myself. I didn't really think about all of the intricate details of a perfect college essay or a perfect college application. I literally was just writing about my feelings towards the school. And even though I had visited the school, I just wasn't sure I was going to get in, and even though I was really passionate about Wellesley, I just was very insecure about myself. Another little, quick little tip is that your college application is a very loose version of who you are, so your personal essay should definitely trickle into your personal and college specific essays and it should definitely trickle into the activities. Everything should be a story of you and embody who you are but on paper. So it, it's a lot easier said than done but that's why it's really important for you to brain dump everything because that's the first thing that comes into mind and then you could polish it. In case you're looking for another resource, Common App has a perfect checklist with more links and resources which I'll leave in the description box below. I hope that this video was somewhat helpful for anyone 
who is interested in applying to a college last minute or if they're really unsure how to go about the college application process. There's definitely a lot of things for me to say, but these are probably the top five tips that I could give you guys that were really useful for me to get into the school that I am right now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe because it definitely helps me on YouTube. <laughs> As always, I hope you have a beautiful and wonderful day and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.